According to the Alexa Web Index, Apple.com is one of the most visited sites online. It is the virtual home of Apple, the world's most valuable company, according to Forbes magazine, with a value almost double that of their closest competitor, Google. Through the Internet Archive, you can access previous versions of Apple's website. Just as the company logo you saw has changed through the years, so has the website. This video shows the 20-year evolution of Apple's website, from 1996 until today. In it, we will demonstrate a larger shift of focus for Apple through its website. It is a shift where the focus on functionality of technology is replaced by a focus on the technology's aesthetics. Let's dive into the history. The first indexed website is from the 22nd of October, 1996. As the design stays the same until 1997, let's look at an indexed version from that year without broken image links. As you can see, there's a red menu bar filling the left side of the screen. Here you can find information about Apple's products, customer support, information for developers, and an about section. Further down, you can manually select your location. Today, this is done automatically via your IP address. Below it, you can locate retailers of Apple's products and even win prizes. The company logo is featured in the top. Below is a selection of products. Underneath it, there's a news section with sales pitches and company information. In 1998, drastic changes occur. Around this time, Apple's previously ousted founder, Steve Jobs, returned to the role of CEO. He gave designers, rather than engineers, responsibility for product development, and arguably the company's web design. The menu bar is moved almost to the bottom. The red, black, and white color scheme from last year is gone forever. Instead, the company logo and products are emphasized, and almost the only elements of color on the page. They even added a GIF of an iMac with a humanized hello on the screen. In 2000, the menu bar is moved to the top, where it remains to this day. However, it is given a sub-menu, hinting about an abundance of information that is available if you click it. In late 2002, we frequently see people, Apple users, front and center on the site. The first clear hint we see of today's visual regime happens at the iPod Nano release in 2005. It features only a large product image showing how small the device is. Focus lies on the product's aesthetics. There is minimal text and information about its price and functionality. This is repeated two years later in 2007 with the launch of the first iPhone. But pay attention to the top menu as it changes. When the operating system Leopard is released and this black theme returns, the submenus are gone. As the Beatles is released on iTunes, a significant event for Apple, everything else is thrown out. This is repeated when other important events for the company occurs. These include the passing of company founder Steve Jobs in 2011, information on how to donate to the Red Cross after natural catastrophes, or Martin Luther King Jr. Day. After Jobs' passing, the news ticker disappears. Large product images are now dominating and frequently filling the whole site. Text is scarce. By 2014, pictures of people in situations where Apple products appear are commonplace. They also extend behind the navigation bar at the top. This bar now changes to a new, flat, and minimalist one. The four smaller news sections at the bottom of the screen are during 2014 reduced to just two. The website's focus lies on the product's aesthetics, putting functionality in the background. Today, in November 2017, the iPhone X solely dominates the top of Apple's website. 